Dear students, I welcome you all to video lecture on measurement of high voltage using electrostatic voltmeter. First, we will study the construction of electrostatic voltmeter. Then, we will study the principle of electrostatic voltmeter operation. Lastly, we will study the working of electrostatic voltmeter. Dear students, what you see here is the constructional figure of absolute electrostatic voltmeter. This part here where we have written C is a capacitive potential divider. M and F form the two parallel plates of a capacitor. M is movable plate and F is fixed plate. D is dome in which the balance is placed. R here is nothing but balancing weight and the G is the guard ring. Here also you can see the guard rings beside whom H is written. These guard rings are used here to maintain the uniform electric field between the movable plate and the fixed plate and to avoid the corona. The electrostatic voltmeters are made with parallel plate configuration using guard rings to white corona and electrostatic field fringing at the edges. So avoiding electrostatic field fringing at the edges gives us uniform magnetic field in the gap between two parallel plates. The electrostatic voltmeters have a very small capacitance and very large insulation resistance. due to which
input impedance is very high. Balancing of movable plate is made by adding counter weight to the R and calibration is made in terms of these small counterweights Next we will study the operating principle of electrostatic voltmeter. The upper frequency limit For AC applications is determined by the following factors first one natural frequency of the moving system resonant frequency of the lead and stray inductances with meter capacitance and the RC behavior of
retaining or control spring due to frictional resistance and elasticity but in this figure we have not shown the control spring for the purpose of keeping the figure simple an upper frequency limit of about 1 megahertz is achieved in careful designs that is if we design an electrostatic voltmeter with lot of considerations then we can have an upper frequency limit of about 1 mega hertz such meters when used for measurement of ac voltages the accuracy will be within plus or minus 0.25% and for dc voltages the accuracy will be about plus or minus 0.1% the accuracy for AC measurements is within plus or minus 0.25 percent and for DC voltage measurements it may be plus or minus 0.1% or less. The distance between movable plate and the fixed plate is limited by a safe working stress given in kilo volt per centimeter. For air, the working stress is 5 kilovolt per centimeter. So the same instrument can be used for measurement of higher voltage by maintaining a working stress of 5 kilovolt per centimeter between the two plates. That is simply by increasing the distance between movable plate and the fixed plate. the distance between M and F is limited by safe normal stress in kv per centimeter for air medium it is
less than 5 kV per centimeter. As the air medium gets polluted, the working stress will go on reducing. The range of instrument can be increased by separating M and F in order to have working stress of 5 kV per centimeter. Now we will study principle of operation. Here when the voltage under measurement is applied to the HV terminal then uniform electric field will be set up between the movable plate and the fixed plate and also there will be opposite charges appearing on M and F because of which the movable plate will move downward as there exists the force of attraction between the oppositely charged parallel plates. To bring back this movable plate back to the initial position we have to add here some counterweight. Now if the area of the parallel plates of capacitors is A and the permittivity of the air medium is epsilon then there exists the relationship between the electric field the permittivity of medium epsilon and the energy density in the capacitor which we can write as WD the electric field is the field of forces according to Coulomb. the electric field is produced by voltage and therefore If the field force could be measured
the voltage can also be measured. Whenever a voltage is applied to a parallel plate electrode arrangement an electric field is set up between the plates it is possible to have an uniform field between the plates with suitable arrangement of the plates for that purpose what we have used here we have used god rings if a is the area of parallel plates E is the electric field intensity between the plates and epsilon is the permittivity of the medium between the plates we know that the energy density
of the electric field. between the plates is given by WD is equal to half epsilon into E square. That means WD is the energy density between the parallel plates and its unit is joules per meter cube. So here we are having two parallel plates, plate number one and plate number two. You can imagine here a cuboid and in this cuboid certain energy is stored. That energy is WD and is given by half into epsilon into field intensity squared. Now if I consider here a very small strip of say thickness dx then we can write for the energy stored in this small strip. and that energy stored will be called as energy stored in differential volume energy stored in differential volume so this is nothing but differential volume and this height is dx here consider a differential volume between the plates and parallel to the area A. These plates are having area of A meter square. So these strips we are considering parallel to the area A. and thickness dx the energy content in this differential volume that is a into dx we know that volume is given by area into height that is base area into height is dw equal to wd into a into dx and we know what is wd wd is half into 
epsilon into e square so a into dx as it is now force f between the plates is defined as the derivative of stored energy along the field direction that is here we know that work done is equal to force into distance so force is what force is work done divided by distance work has unit of joules so we can say here energy upon distance so what is the energy stored now energy stored in small volume is equal to half into epsilon into e square a into dx so you can write for forces dw by dx same type of equation we are writing here but it is for differential thickness that is equal to half into epsilon into e square into a but electric field intensity is volts per meter therefore we can write f equal to half into epsilon into v by d square into a F is always attractive as two plates are oppositely charged. and this equation holds good for the time independent voltage that is DC voltage if V is dependent on time that is for AC voltage then the expression for force may be written as 1 by t integration of f of t dt from 0 to t that is equal to 1 by t integration from 0 to t 
हाफ इंटू एप्सलॉन v of t whole square by d square into a into dt that is equal to 1 by 2 into epsilon into a by d square into 1 by t integration from 0 to t v of t whole square dt 1 over t v of t squared and integrated from 0 to t with respect to time is nothing but rms voltage squared that is we can write force as half into epsilon a by d square into v rms square and so by measuring the force we can measure the AC voltage or the DC voltage. And how to measure this force? This force is nothing but the counterweight that we have added for balancing the moving plate. Next we will write few lines on operation of this absolute electrostatic voltmeter. Operation on application of HV under measurement through capacitive potential divider the opposite charges appear on the parallel plates M and F due to these opposite charges an attractive force is developed between
एम एंड डी एफ हेंस एम बोस टूवर्ड्स एफ the fixed plate the force of attraction is proportional to v square in case of dc and v rms square in case of ac therefore applied high voltage can be measured by measuring the force of attraction dear students we have completed now the electrostatic voltmeter I will stop the class here and continue in next class. Thank you.